Space Ghost Jan and Jace enter a new level of danger when the crazed cult leader Zorak escapes prison and hatches a plan to bring his god of destruction into the universe. Will he succeed? Let's find out in our review of Space Ghost number 4 from Dynamite Comics. See you in 3. Welcome back to Comical Opinions. This is our review of Space Ghost number 4. Well now, we gotta give credit where credit is due. David Peppo is turned out in another issue that focuses on a slightly reimagined Space Ghost villain, and the net result is a comic packed with danger, action, excitement, and adventure. Elevated, and here's the key part, with maturity and seriousness well above the Saturday morning cartoon. Of all the cartoon IPs Dynamite has picked up over the last year, this issue I think is our favorite so far. Before we dig into this issue, let's briefly recap what happened in issue number three. Jan and Jace convinced our hero to accept an offer from the criminal known as the Widow to break into Robocorp's headquarters and steal their incriminating data. As the saying goes, the enemy of my enemy is my friend, so Space Ghost reluctantly agreed. When the team nearly got away with the heist, the Widow turned the tables after Jan learned the whole scheme was a setup with the Widow working for Robocorp. Fortunately, Jan turned the tables back by capturing Widow and getting away with the Robocorp data. That brings us to Space Ghost number four. We begin with an introduction to the legendary Zorak in prison. Zorak is a dangerous cultist who believes in Lokar, the locust of the apocalypse. And Zorak slaughtered multiple space colonies in a bloody bid to manifest Lokar in our universe. On this day, Space Ghost receives an alert that Zorak has escaped from prison. Writer David Peppo starts the issue strongly by framing Zorak as a brutal, intimidating, and violent criminal who gets everyone back on their heels, from the prison guards to his fellow inmates. In large part, Zorak's intimidation factor successfully comes across due to Jonathan Lau's always spectacular art. Space Ghost responds to the alert by heading to Zorak's last known hideout. Before he leaves though, he tells Jan and Jace that they are absolutely forbidden from following him because Zorak is just too dangerous. If they disobey orders, Jan and Jace will be fired and banished from the headquarters, never to work with Space Ghost again. There's a method and a process to elevate the character's reputation without meeting that character at all. And Pepos pulls off that method perfectly here. Space Ghost doesn't show fear when talking about Zorak. He's not afraid of him, but his extreme apprehension communicates how big a threat Space Ghost perceives Zorak to be, especially towards Jan and Jace, which adds to Zorak's presence. Jan and Jace agree to behave themselves while Space Ghost flies off to a former Zorak hideout on Bellerophon. Space Ghost finds papers of star charts and maps that suggest Zorak was there and that he's developing some kind of plan with a timetable. Suddenly, Space Ghost is attacked by Zorak's killing robot, Titanor. What follows is, understandably, a titanic battle for survival. If you're a Space Ghost fan and you were satisfied with one classic Space Ghost villain returning, how about two for the price of one? On his best day, the classic Titanor looks like a simplified, featureless robot born out of a mid-century aesthetic for kids. It looks like a toy robot. Here, Titanor is a walking tank that would make any superhero wary. Further, the battle is outstanding. Meanwhile, Jan and Jace pick up a transmission that the Hadron Collider on Grax 3 was attacked, and all the workers were taken hostage. No space patrols are close enough to lend a hand, and Space Ghost isn't responding to transmissions. Against Space Ghost's wishes, Jan and Jace take Jan's newly completed space coop for a spin to rescue the hostages. However, the attack on Grax 3 is no simple hostage situation. The issue concludes with a battle that brings the house down, a rescue attempt gone wrong, and a deal with the devil. Overall, this issue exemplifies the same spirit of fun and adventure from the original cartoon, but it's elevated into a serious thriller. Pepos is taking the assignment to heart by crafting a superhero series that keeps everything that works about the Space Ghost canon from the original cartoon while crafting something that can appeal to all ages. Let's switch gears and talk about the art. Jonathan Lau is one of the best artists on Dynamite's roster, and this issue shows you why he is the best. Lau is the master of using shadows to emphasize drama and impact, and Lau's character designs are faithful to the source material but more detailed, and the action execution is amazing. Let's take a step back and look at the big picture. If you're a new reader to Space Ghosts and you don't have much more than a passing knowledge of the characters, you may not recognize Titanor. The robot was created by Zorak scientists specifically to defeat Space Ghost. Titanor first appeared in the Space Ghost cartoon episode titled The Challenge, which first aired on December 3rd, 1966. Final thoughts, what do we think about Space Ghost number four? It's one of the best issues yet. 
Writer David Peppos crafts a story that makes longtime Space Ghost villain Zorak into a credible and intimidating threat, while Jonathan Lau's battle art looks fantastic. If Dynamite can maintain this level of action and excitement, Space Ghost will be around for a very long time. Therefore, Space Ghost number 4 from Dynamite Comics earns a 9 out of 10. This is the kind of reimagining that respects the source material but gives readers something new. But what do you think? Are you enjoying Dynamite's take on classic cartoon characters? Give us a thumbs up if you're a fan of Space Ghost and leave us a comment below to let us know which Space Ghost villain you want to see next. Also remember to click on the link in the description to read the written review and buy this comic to help support the channel. That would be greatly appreciated. So thank you very much for joining and stay tuned through the outro for more reviews just like this one.